it's so cool to have a nice phone because the quality is so good it's really epic i'm always used to having like kind of a piece of crap phone and like all my friends from high school like used to know me for that <laughs> so um not used to these high quality resolution like my style hit and, the subscribe um, button so you don't miss yeah. any future videos you know hopefully a little bit of motivation to share today about you know your journey and my journey and our journeys and everything under the sun you know i feel like when you are out there and yes, I started that sentence with, I feel like, but I feel like you are, when you are out there, it's oftentimes difficult to see yourself as, you know, a unique individual in, or uh, sorry, not even a unique individual, as a, just another individual in a sea of others we often kind of centralize ourselves as being, you know, the most significant in this universe, this storyline, you know? Me, 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 right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's good from a survivalistic standpoint, survivalist standpoint, because you need to take care of yourself and you, you can't really um, disregard your importance in that way if you do want to continue to live or at least to continue to attempt to live because if you do nothing you will ultimately die so you know trying to view yourself as just another person is difficult but it's actually rather important because it gives you a sense of understanding about the human experience that you can't really get if you're only looking through your eyes all the time and so being able to talk to others to listen to what they have to say especially is an easy way to kind of quickly view yourself in a mirror and here's why what people say and how they say what they say is oftentimes influenced by the type of person you are so they are in some ways kind of reflecting back the person that you are to you when they speak and so you know it kind of goes back to that saying that like attracts like you know people that flock together will often attract more people of a similar mindset and uh yeah, that goes too with just, you know, connections in general. You know, you are what you eat, you know, you like what you like, you know, however you want to say that. And obviously there's other, um, there's other ways to interpret that because you can also make the argument that, um, and by the way, if you haven't already get some push-ups in today, but if you, you know, view it in the sense that like, um, oh man, where was I going with that? <laughs> where was I going with that? Um, yeah, I kind of lost that train of thought. Well, but maybe it'll come back to me. Really, the emphasis here is on viewing yourself through the lens of other people. Utilize the wisdom and even just the words to kind of get a fuller image of who you are because you often can't see that just within yourself all the time or and or there are times when you start to forget and you feel like you need a reminder and other people will definitely give you a pretty you know holistic view and you can kind of put those pieces together as you deem necessary or um, accurately, as you deem uh, precise, um, and kind of build a fuller, fuller perspective. So, I had a conversation today which inspired this video, and 
it was just on the topic of kind of you know reminding me to stay on track and to just not be discouraged by difficulty because you know it's i think it's just one of those things that you know i i'm so used to not having those reminders and i don't really know where to find them even if i wanted to but i just happened to stumble across somebody that is quite a nice person and he gave me a reminder like that and i haven't seen him in about a year so it's really special and uh yeah it just i feel like it helps me to reaffirm that you know well i may have a lot of faults and i may be kind of a mess in some capacities as i think we all are um i'm doing what i believe is the right thing the majority of the time as i believe you are and you know the reflection he gave me was an encouraging one and had it been discouraging <clears throat> i would have considered it equally of course we're biased to consider those favorable reflections but if you're somebody that is a deep thinker you'll always consider the other side and look for ways you can improve and not just to say that all he had to say was positive things because you know encouragement doesn't have to just be purely positive it can be kind of in a way that challenges you and so i do feel challenged to continue to stay positive in myself because i do oftentimes resort to more negative thinking when it's just me and i save a lot of the positives for other people <laughs> and uh you know if you're somebody that follows along with a lot of my videos then maybe you've noticed that as a lot of my thumbnails i put you know me smiling and i do smile a lot but i just want i want other people to receive that i just love the idea i always have it's very romantic of other people feeling inspired by just a subtle reflection of that so anyway that's pretty much what i have to say as well as to you know stay on those little things you know continue to stay sharp to continue to you know work out to eat right to you know stand the grind whatever it is that you're doing to keep it up you know especially if it's helping you get where you want to be and there's going to be situations that happen that you didn't plan for and especially situations where you feel like out of your element or that your intention was kind of misconstrued or even the occasional failure where you try to do something and it just simply doesn't work out so you know keeping in mind those things keeping in mind also the little steps you can take to keep yourself grounded in the moments that are chaotic and not losing sense of yourself in yourself in the pure chaos so as that plane is queuing in some more chaos i'm gonna leave you with just a final message of just stay you you know and you need to find what it is that really feels like you and i recommend to talk to people that you trust because in them many times and also in the world in these various things you are going to be able to again snag glimpses of yourself and again mixed with the inner turmoil sometimes it's difficult to look inward as people tell you to do and you know intrinsically see that so there's nothing wrong with kind of looking outwards you're not looking for validation you're looking for cues and clues and those things do come when you seek them albeit not always in the manner that you think so stay curious peace